Hello, everybody, um, Your Excellencies and all of you. I'm very pleased to be there. I'm delighted to present this keynote about human machine and robotics interaction at the Global AI Summit. So I'm professor of artificial intelligence at Sorbonne University, and I'm doing my research at CNRS in France. Affective computing field of research is related to a rise from or deliberately influences emotion or other affective phenomena. Three main technologies, emotion detection from human behavior, from voice, text, or visual aspect, movement, and so on, understanding and reasoning about these cues and generation of emotion. So in my lab, we create conversational agents, social robotics, that can recognize, interpret, and simulate human language and affect, even a kind of humor. The robot is a complex object which can simulate cognitive abilities without human feelings, conscientiousness, intention, and desire of appetite of life that Spinoza talks as conatus, the effort to perceive in being. The new area of voice-enabled device and the rapid adoption signals a major shift to the digital world and consumer interaction models, with the potential to augment human welfare and well-being in many ways. Improve the customer experience, personalize the communication, give medical advice, help elderly, or create a virtual companion. These machines can also have negative consequences, unfair or manipulation if not regulated. We need to build trustworthiness within a sustainable market. Human language is an essential element in shaping, even determining cultural characteristics, human perceptions, and even entire worldviews. Emerging interactive and adaptive systems using emotions modify how we will socialize with machines. These areas inspire critical questions centering on the ethics, the goals and the deployment on it of innovative products that can change our lives and society. So people tend to respond to machines as they would either to another person, anthropomorphization by being polite, cooperative, attributing personality characteristics such as aggressiveness, humor, expertise, and even gender, depending on the cues they receive from the media. So the robot can inspire empathy if it seems in the pain. So I work also on the nudge concept. The nudge concept is coming from the work of Richard Toller, Nobel Prize in Economics in 2017, a nudge is a technique that consists in encouraging individuals to change their behavior without constraining them, using their cognitive bias, lacking self-control, acting emotionally, acting by conformity or laziness. Key insights for digital nudge enhanced by AI are user interface of socio-affective machine design influence choices, even unintentionally. Heuristic and bias influence online and offline behavior, and through design and testing can help achieve a designer's intended behavioral effect. Voice and appearance of assistant and social robots bring new dimensions, similar language, body movement, affective behavior to the intention, and could become a mean of influencing and nudging individuals. Furthermore, 80% of the coders are men. As you have seen here, there's a lot of panel with only men. 80% of the chatbots and social robots built have women names. Alexa, Samantha, Sofia, or woman face or body. Women characters robots are assistants, nurses, sexual robots. So AI system reinforces the stereotypes. It's also urgent to speak about ethical rules, but also urgent to involve more women in AI and robotics. 
The next slide is an advertisement for Getbox marketed in Japan, a chatbot with a sexy hologram character that I call the fake clochette, a kind of girlfriend at home, a guardian angel, or a tamagushi for adults. おはよう。おはよう。あ、今日雨が降るかもしれないから傘持って行って。急がないと遅刻しちゃうよ。行ってきます。行ってらっしゃい。気をつけてね。Okay, it's like you know a girlfriend at home. And the guy at the end of the Somebody home for me. Is it our future? I ask you. So many of these systems are already uh, deployed in uh, several uh, health sectors. Example for Moxie, which is a US robot developed for autistic children. Children are engaging in a creative play with the robot Moxie, drawing, storytelling, mindfulness practice, and more that helps promote important life skills such as a conversation, tone talking, emotion regulation, and how to make friends. Moxie can learn to recognize a child's face and their particular learning needs to for nudging. AI enhanced nudging, persuasive power, and intrusive capacity can also cause profound and long-lasting changes in the behavior of users such as isolation, addiction, and so on, especially for his children and vulnerable people. Last example <laughs> in the metaverse. <laughs> Virtual reality reunites mother with dead daughter in South Korean dock. Xer would open new ethics challenges such as emotional manipulation with confusion between reality and reality in metaverse or in extended reality. So the issues surrounding this human-machine interaction cover a wide range of ethical topics. Censorship of content, discrimination and unfairness, manipulation, as I show you, changing our collective behaviors and culture. How will, how will humans co-evolve, co-create, co-learn with these social robots or in the metaverse? in working education as application. In particular, how will vulnerable people be protected from potential traits, addiction, manipulation, isolation? A lot of use cases and can lead at po ethical positive nudge, such as areas that of health, consumer goods and services, and green energy. But nudging poses an ethical threat and negative business implication. Social robots, the topic of social robots, AI nudge, raised ethical question to which no standard today provides direct answer. We must define together in the community with AI technology, because I am an expert in machine learning, deep learning, transformer, and affective computing, but also with philosopher, with uh, economist, we have to define standards and ethical frameworks, the soft law for conversational system chatbots, social robotics, and educate multidisciplinary and multi-stakeholder. I thank you for your attention. I am now convener of a group on foundational and societal aspect of artificial intelligence at GTC21 Sansenelec. GTC21 produces standardization deliverables in the field of artificial intelligence and related use of data to address European market, but larger than the European market, maybe, and societal needs. Thank you.